Dear friends, hunger is a human reality. Very often all of us who are here, we are not hungry because we get food when we want it. But there are people who are hungry and hunger is a basic human instinct. When somebody is hungry, he may go to any extent to get some food. He or she may go and beg. He and she or she may go and steal. And I have even seen, even yesterday, I saw a woman early in the morning, 4 o'clock, looking in a waste bin in the city, searching for some food somebody might have thrown in that uh, bin previous night so that she could uh, eat something. A beggar woman. One of the touching scenes which I ever remember in my mind is last year of the migrants who were returning to North India from cities, one of them was eating the carcass of a dog which was run over by a vehicle on the roadside and he was pulling the meat and eating it raw because he was so hungry. Luckily some helpers, some people saw him and they gave him food to eat. So today's theme is on hunger. The people of Israel were hungry as they were coming out of Egypt and marching towards the promised land. They had left the country in a hurry and now a number of days passed and they were marching along the desert. All what provisions they had were over and now they started grumbling. Grumbling against the leadership, against Moses and Aaron, saying that why did you bring us out? At least in Egypt, although we were slaves, we had enough thing to eat. Here, we are dying of hunger. We, our wives and our children. What could Moses do in the desert? His only hope was God. And he tells God, he prays to God, God, your people are hungry and I am helpless. And what does God say? He says, I am going to rain food from heaven. I am going to send birds into their camps and that they can catch and eat. So from that day onwards, there were occasionally birds coming into the tents of those people which they could catch and have us meet. And then there was manna drops falling from heaven which they could pick up, grind it, boil it, or eat it. It was a very tasty food. And manna carried on raining from heaven for 40 years. So for all the 40 years, those people were not hungry. God fed them. And occasionally they were thirsty. God gave them water to drink. So that is what God is, who cares for the people, especially those who cry to him. In the gospel also we find a similar scenery. Jesus was there in the desert, deserted area. A lot of people came to him from morning till evening. They were listening to him, to him attentively. They did not want to go away from there. They forgot all about their food. But Jesus recognized that these people were with him from morning. And now if they were to walk back at night to home, some of them may collapse on the way. So what does he do? He multiplies bread the five loaves which he had, the two loaves which he had, and he feeds them all very well. There was a lot of food left over, and those people went back home happily. But what happened? The next morning, they came again to that place, and now Jesus tells them, you came here not because you love me, not because you want to listen to me, but yesterday, you had your stomachs full of food. He told them, don't look for food that perishes, but look for food that endures to eternal life, which God the Father can give. 
and he says that father has set his seal upon me and he carries on telling them that they should believe in him because he is sent by god and ultimately we heard in the gospel he is saying that those who are hunger and if they go to jesus christ they will never be hungry again those who believe in him they will never be hungry again and those who thirst for him yes they will never be thirsty again so jesus will be able to satisfy the hunger and thirst of people so it is an invitation by saint john asking all of us to look to jesus christ and he is going to nourish us he is going to give us food that endures to eternal life so we all need food is that all what we require and we are only hung, not only hungering for rice and dal and other things we also hunger for other things what are the things you hunger for anybody we hunger for love we hunger for appreciation we hunger for affection and we also hunger for fame name position some of us also hunger for money power authority so these are the things which people hunger for besides hunger for material food and what happens to this hunger some of this hunger to certain extent is good but when this hunger is pursued farther what happens things will go wrong so we will not be on the line which god has marked out for us but we will be walking as and paul says we will be looking for earthly things and not on heavenly things so we can think about uh, the hunger for people for earthly things and heavenly things for something which is noble something which is ignoble something which is earthly and something which is heavenly so jesus wants us that we go for heavenly things noble things good things and then what happens the world becomes a good place but on the other hand when we look for earthly things and bad things the world goes into chaos so because of the power for authority for money for comfort for pressure what happens we find wars battles enslavement trafficking all these things are by, done by some people because they are taking their earthly hunger to the farthest extent and they don't care for the people we hear about genocides killing of the whole nations war between countries why they want to be famous they want to have more authority more pressure but what happens is in spite of getting all those things people are never huh, satisfied people who are rich they are never satisfied with the amount of money they get they want to get more and more so what can we do only thing is turn to jesus christ all of you might have heard about our priest who was in the concentration camp so what happened to him so he was punished i forgot the name of the priest maximilian kolbe so what happened to him so he was he and his companions they were put in the prison and although in the initially the nazis wanted to shoot them later on they said let them starve to death so 15 of them so they were in the cell hungry and what happened because maximilian kolbe was there those people took their hunger they did not complain because he was there to console comfort them one by one they died but after 15 days maximilian kolbe is still alive and what happened the nazi said he may never die because it seems that food has got no effect in on, on him and they injected poison into him and then he died so we sometimes wonder how he lived because his mind was always fixed on jesus christ and the thought of jesus christ would even satisfy his need for food we are not saying that we live without material food we must have food maybe we could say we should not have too much food so food is necessary but ultimately what is required is our 
attachment to Jesus Christ. So today Jesus is, is telling us, yes, come to me and I will satisfy your hunger. I will satisfy your thirst. And in order to satisfy our hunger and our thirst, he has established, we can say, the Holy Eucharist, through which he is giving us his own body and his own blood. And that's what we will hear in the coming Sundays. Jesus says, yes, take my body. Yes, take my blood. Eat, drink, and you will be satisfied. You will never be hungry again. So Jesus Christ should satisfy all our earthly desires because it is much above the earthly desires because it, they are truly heavenly. So today maybe as we are celebrating this Holy Eucharist, we could ask ourselves, what are the things I hunger for? Or can I put a check on some of those hungers which I am having so that I will be more turned towards Jesus Christ, will become more human according to the image of Jesus Christ, according to which we are created. So today we pray that the Holy Spirit may come down upon us, that he may slowly, slowly draw us closer and closer to Jesus Christ, and that we all may turn our minds and heart towards Jesus Christ, knowing that he can satisfy every one of my hunger, every one of my thirst. May the same Lord Jesus Christ always remain with us. Thank you.